So this next patient was diagnosed with prostate cancer with lymph node involvement. They want to add a second generation anti-androgen, uh, so Zytiga or anything like that, to increase their chance of cure. Doesn't matter which of the four would be used. They have seen, um, they have seen Extandi used and it seems like it's pretty expensive. They're wondering if Zytiga would be good or if Extandi or Leader or Nubeca have as much efficacy and is it worth the expense? So the way I think of it, and I think most medical oncologists think of it, uh, all four agents Zytiga, Xtandi, Nubeca, and Erlita are thought to be equally efficacious, equally effective against the cancer. So selecting amongst these four options then is based on cost, convenience, side effects, uh, and there are variables in that department. So to pick the perhaps the least expensive one, just Zytiga is the only one that has a generic option right now. Um, there are some issues, Zytiga, you have to take a small dose of prednisone, you have to monitor for liver and kidney issues, but uh, the cost savings can be very substantial. This next question comes from a caregiver. She's wondering, how does prostate cancer come back into the prostate fossa if the entire gland has been removed? So this is the probably the essence of what concerns us about cancers is that they can um, get away from the original organ. They can get outside the prostate and grow and prosper in other parts of the body, like lymph nodes and bone are the most common for prostate cancer. Uh, so some cancers can't spread, and some cancers are unable to grow in the fossa. Uh, these are the, the more low-grade variants, and uh, of course, men that have those types of cancers are, are gonna do fine. Cancers that can grow outside the prostate can also uh, remain in the fossa area. It's usually uh, caused by the fact that when the surgeon cuts the gland out, he doesn't get all the cancer out. Sometimes the gland is going out through the edge of the prostate, and uh, since anatomically they have to remove just the prostate, they can't cut into the bladder or the rectum, which are right adjacent. And uh, so they'll end up actually slicing through the cancer and leaving a little bit of the cancer behind. And in some men, uh, that uh, cancer has the capacity to grow and prosper in those tissues. Uh, where the prostate used to be. Some cancers uh, don't. Uh, cutting through cancer and leaving it behind is called positive margins. And this is determined by the pathology report that is generated right after the surgery. They'll say, was there a positive or a negative margin? Uh, men that have positive margins don't necessarily uh, have a recurrence of the cancer. Some of those men are still cured because their particular genre of cancer doesn't have the ability to grow outside the prostate. And it just dies off and, and they're fine. Uh, but uh, some men do have a genetic variant where it is capable of growing where the prostate used to be. Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and our mascot, Hunter. You can check out his Instagram, Sir Hunter the Dow, at the link below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And in fact, if this dog high fives me, high five, high five. Can you high five me? Thank you. You have to subscribe. Go subscribe to the YouTube channel. He even thinks that's awesome. Also, don't forget to visit our website, pcri.org.